Oh, how's it going everybody? The Mixtro here. I decided to try a new video format and whatnot, so I'm going to be playing Halo, the multiplayer, and just been talking about what's on my mind. And the first one that's on my mind, or first thing that comes to my mind that's just been plaguing me is laziness. And no, that's not an excuse why my bed's not made. We're going to ignore all that there. But just like, I've been uh, listening to this book, and it's uh, it's called uh, No Such Thing as Laziness, or what's the book called? I don't know. I'll, I'll put a thing here. But it's just, a, but it's saying, it was just saying how people overwork ourselves and whatnot, especially like how people just get so interconnected with the work and everything that we're doing right now. Like, what with like the whole COVID thing or whatnot, it's really highlighting how like people just are so fixated with work and email and interconnected. It's really hard for us to unplug and go back. And it's really hard for us just to take a break for some people. Uh, maybe not all people, but there's definitely people out there, uh, maybe myself included, that feel like they can't take a break or feel guilty when they do take a break or they feel guilty when they take vacation time. And I definitely know that's a thing with my uncle is I don't think, I think he feels guilty every time he takes vacation days or whatnot. I mean, I'm a little bit more, like especially in the summer, I'll go take vacation days, but like in the winter during our, uh, my busy season uh, as a ski instructor, I'm like, no, I can't go take a week off of work. There's stuff to be done. So, so yeah. So it's just like stuff like that has been on my mind and it's just like, whoa come and uh, they're talking about like side hustling with youtubes and like instagram models and whatnot like just the world we're living in is very it's very side hustle and very work oriented and like in like years and years ago when the boomers were like you know vibing and making laws like with the 40 hours a week was the standard because they figured out hey once you, when you're working more than 40 hours a week your work is deteriorating and anything after 50 hours is like well might as not be there because the work is just you're paying people for basically not doing work because they're just so exhausted and they haven't had time to refill their batteries and everything like that so so it's got me thinking, it's like, do I work too much? And that's another thing this book covers is you feel... Is that an enemy that just... Okay. What's this guy? He's done this twice. Is he okay? Here, here you go, buddy. Take it. Noble 655586. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, it's just like, people just feel guilty for not working or feeling like they need to take breaks during work and whatnot. And it's just like, your mind's not designed, you're not designed to work for eight hours a day. And it makes sense. I, I read up into and watch a lot of videos on human evolution because I think it's cool. But your brain just takes so much energy and so it doesn't want to be working uh, eight hours a day for 40 hours a week. Like, it... And honestly, your mind needs time to just, like, decompress and think of new ideas. Like, the book, the lady in the book, uh, I don't know her author, again, flash on screen here. But she's like, yeah, like, uh, a lot of therapists have just been recommending, hey, just, just take 30 minutes and just let your mind and body feel what they need to feel or whatnot. Because we oftentimes neglect what they need to be doing. So, it's just like, I don't know, it's just been on my mind. And again, I love the title of the book, People Aren't Lazy. And I don't think most people are lazy. It's just our culture just really feeds into, like, oh, you're not working, so you're lazy or whatnot. And that's not true. Like, even, even if you're doing the bare minimum 32 hours at some store or whatnot, you're not being lazy. Like, it's very hard to find people that are just pure lazy, just for laziness sake. Yeah. 
There, well, there we go. I was being too lazy. I wasn't being proactive and looking at both sides. <laughs> but, like, uh, and that was, it was just, like, and even, like, people were, like, oh, homeless people are being lazy. What about those guys? And it's just, like, most of those people are dealing with, like, drug addictions and, like, heavy shit or, like, layoffs or whatever. I don't know. I've never been homeless, so I can't constitute what brings a person into homelessness. But, like, they're definitely not there because they want to be most of the time. Like, it's just society just labels them as lazy. And we have such a big stigma. It's like, oh, you're lazy. Telling somebody they're lazy or whatnot. But it's so important important of being human uh another quote not from the book i've been reading but just i've heard a while ago and it just the book just made me think of it it's just like we're top predators and what do top predators do in their environment look at like lions and like orcas they they just bs all day and just go out and have fun yeah they gotta work for their food but like they're like, again, lions spend a lot of their time sleeping and resting and getting ready for their hunts. And orcas are so smart and so powerful that they have time to mess around and uh, they get to play with stuff. And they get to mess with, like, oh, hey, I can turn a stingray over. And it's, like, and it immobilizes them. And they play with it with a shark and realize, oh, they can immobilize sharks. They just slip and don't sit down. So it's just, like, it's just, like, you have to be lazy to be creative, it feels like. And... This dude just running around has the right strat. I can't hit him for the life of me. Come here. There you go. There you go, buddy. Uh, I don't know what his deal is. He's just he's just vibing over here. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, you just have to... And honestly, that's what kind of sparked this idea. I was like, well... I just wanted to make... And also, being lazy, I was like... They just lazy around all day. And taking some time. And I was just like, you know, I just want to make a video. Like, it doesn't have to be a great video. It just... I just want to make something. It doesn't have to be spectacular either, but I just need to make something or anything like that. So, I don't know. I think there's benefits to being lazy and everything like that. Uh, do do do. I do... I am faced with an interesting challenge. I don't have any recording software on the Xbox in the default. So, we'll see what happens here at the 10 minute mark because it will only record for 10 minutes but that's that's besides the point uh, that's uh, that's future's me problem but and the book also goes into procrastination too uh, not a whole bunch but it does mention it and I thought it was interesting it said something along the lines if you procrast like you know the more you care about a project the more you tend to procrastinate it and going through college and going back into a subject that I actually enjoy learning that and when I was doing projects in that class yeah I definitely noticed oh th there you are again buddy noble six long extended numbers it's just like you ex it's exactly that like I was so nervous about projects because I wanted to do such a good job with them and I get nervous doing YouTube videos just because I want to do such a good job with them. But also, it's just like, hey, I, after reading this book, it's like, hey, YouTube should be fun. Like, great if it turns into a side gig, but it also should just be something that I just enjoy doing. Because, again, I've got to relax and whatnot. Like, I can't stress out. And again, I'm very calm about this now. Back in my mind, I'm going to be like, what, you're not working hard enough? Mix, 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 mix. Look at all these other people. And you fall in that comparison trap, too. Of what are you, you looking online and looking at all these other people who start from nothing? And it's, it is a luck-based game. Like, it is a luck-based game. I do think there are some skills involved, but, like, it's luck that gets you to where you get into the position where you can utilize those skills. So you have to be a little lucky. It's not just hard work. You do need to work hard, but it's not purely hard work. And you shouldn't beat yourself up over that. Because you can't control that. But I am probably going to wrap up this video. So if you like, subscribe. If not, oh well. See you along the internet highway. Cheers.